new Friday, new video. This time it is about the LED slider text for the MR2 Mark I window, but you can adopt it to any car you want. So let's start and thank you for watching. The slider consists of mainly two parts. We start with the heart of it. The heart of it is this guy. It's an ESP8266 microcontroller and you get it for something between two and five euros or dollar. The second part you need are these LED panels. And these LED panels um, come like you see them. So it's, it's one piece already connected and stuff. And the third part is uh, this case. This case is a 3D printing case I designed. And because of, and this uh, PET or PETG case and these small pillars make it possible to just stick it inside. This is the controller, so it's the same. But I don't want to uh, reconnect it again, so I can show you this one. Then you have a USB port here. It's not a USB-C, it's the older one. And you just need a power bank to connect. Yeah, and then you can, you have the physical everything done. So printing the case, I link you the file in the description. Then buy these two parts, connect it like I show you in some minutes. Put this thing in, connect the cables and use a power bank. If you want to use it in the window, um, I designed this window bracket for the MR2 Mark I because it has to fit or sit very, very close to the window. Installation is easy, of course. So you look for this edge putting it on top of the window then you have the second edge to fit between these two garnishes and it clips in and then you only have to put the screw in and that's all I only use it when I stand because the police is very very strict here but can, you can use a teaser power strip for example or just 3M tape and glue it on it and then it looks from the outside like this. And this is everything you need. So, but the more important thing is um, how we get our, our, our LED text, our Instagram nickname, whatever. And this is the second part. To get a connection to your small ESP unit, you need an interface. And this is the Arduino IDE software you can download because it's an open source system. Then you go on, in my case, Windows 10 and just download if you don't want to donate, donate something. And after installing, it should look like this, but you find a lot of instructions for download and installing. So step one is the download, step two is the installation. And now we need a library or some of it. That's why we go to tools and uh, library management. Then we are looking for the Adafruit GFX. And you need another one. It's the Adafruit Bus IO. And you need one for the LED panel. It is called Max. 72xx panel and you can download it on github um, i will put the link in the description if this is done um, i used a code which i found in the World Wide web because there was a covid live ticker which used a code looking similar for that what i want but i changed it a little bit and here you can see instagram humorworks etc this is uh, what it, what the slider text will show at the end. If you can't copy that, I try to put everything in the description. And um, when this is done, you can go to your board information. So you need to 
look for your board. It's a generic ESP8266. And when you put it on, then this port is shown um, in then black instead of gray. And you can go to upload. Then you only need to put in an USB device to get power and that's it. Hope this video was a little bit enjoyable and um, see you next Friday. Thank you. Bye.